What's up YouTube? How's everybody out there doing today? Oh my god, there's so many cars in this shop and we're working on all of them at one time. Plus there's more cars outside. It's freaking crazy. So, anyways, I wanted to make a little video and tell you guys about some of the things that I don't like about owning my own shop or uh, working for myself basically, I guess is what it would come down to. Um, I figured out about you know six things. I figured out six things that I don't like about working for myself and, and having my own shop. So we're gonna get right into it and I'm gonna tell you what they are. Probably one of the very first things I don't like about owning a shop or, or you know, this is more along the lines of owning a shop, is competition. Uh, obviously I'm in the field of performance work, so you know, competition in this type of a field compared to competition in like uh, a dealership or competition in say for example like a little mom and pop uh, inspection shop is a little bit different than, than that type of a situation. Uh, competition amongst performance shops is a little bit more, I would personally say, it's more vicious um, if you want to call it that. And I don't mean that in a, in a bad or good way, just in a, in a personal kind of way. Uh, Performance work is very, very competitive. Uh, everybody wants to work on the new, uh, you know, ZL1. Everyone wants to work on the new C7Z06s. Everybody wants to have that high horsepower. Everybody wants to have the fastest car and, and so on and so forth. Because obviously, you know, if you're going to the track and you have a fast car, a fast brand new C7, or say for example, we'll use a, a C8 uh, ZL, ZR1, you know, whoever gets their hands on one of those first is gonna be setting the bar and everyone's gonna be chasing that person down. So competition is really, 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 really rough because everybody's trying to get that car, everybody's trying to make that car the fastest car in the country first or make it the highest horsepower in the country first. So everybody with that type of a car then comes to them for all their work and they get all the business and then all the other shops are pissed off because, you know, that shop has now uh, taken most of that business for the most part uh, and, and cornered the market because they have that highest horsepower, you know, statute or fastest car on the track statute. So that's the first thing that uh, it sucks about having a performance shop or, or being in business for yourself. The second thing I really, really, really hate about owning a performance shop or being in business for myself is, and I hate to say this guys, and, and believe me, I love you all out there. I really, really do. But some of you customers, some of you past customers, uh, all my customers now are, are great people. I love them to death. So this is not directed towards any customers specifically. This is just in general, you know, for shops. Uh, some customers can just be so buggy and naggy and, and some of them can even be cheap. And the sucky part about some of the cheaper customers out there that you will end up dealing with having a performance shop or even having a regular automotive shop is you try to do a good job for them. You try to do a proper job for them and they don't want to spend any money. All they want to do is try to get the quickest, fastest, cheapest job done and still be able to make the same horsepower or have the same condition car as the next guy, you know, in, in line to get work done or the next guy that's going down the track or whatever the case may be. I would have to say the second thing that sucks about owning a performance shop is the fact that uh, you have these customers that, you know, they just want to breathe down your freaking neck. They want to, they want to, you know, bother you and bother you and bother you. And uh, you, you don't, you know, you don't have a lot of time to work because they're always calling you and, you know, talking to you and changing their minds or trying to do something cheaper or do something different or uh, just not really working with the program, you know? So that's the second thing I don't like about owning a performance shop. The third thing I don't like about owning a performance shop, and this also goes in line with just being a, a business owner in general, is deadlines. I freaking hate deadlines. I don't like being rushed when I'm, I'm doing a, a, a ZL1 Camaro, for example. I like to take my time. I like to be able to do a proper job, a good job. This kind of goes back to, you know, the second thing I don't like about owning a shop. But, um, you know, I like to take my time. I like to do a proper job and give the customer exactly what they're looking to have, uh, you know, and not rush it. You know, back in the day when I worked for, you know, other shops, which will come to that as well, uh, my one of my other complaints, um, you know, when I worked for other shops back in the day, you know, everyone, you know, that I worked for obviously was, we need to get this done faster because we need to make the money and we need to pay the bills. And, and I understand that, I, I completely do. 
But what a lot of people don't understand is back then, you know, you were rushed to do something and then you would make a mistake. Well, my motto has always been take an extra hour to do a good job and then you wouldn't be, you know, you, you won't be rushed to make a mistake and now you spend seven or eight hours fixing that mistake. That's pretty much what it comes down to is, you know, not being, not being rushed. I don't like being rushed. I don't like deadlines. I like to take my time, like I was saying, and, and do a good job and make sure the job is done correctly the first time and not have to come back and revisit a job because something messed up or something was done wrong and, you know, so on and so forth. So I would say that's the third thing I don't like about owning a performance shop. Um, and in, in general, just being a, a business owner or a, you know, working for myself in general as well. So that's the third thing, guys. The fourth thing, and I know a lot of you guys out there that own performance shops or own shops or own businesses in general. The fourth thing that I do not like about being in business for myself or being a shop owner in general is this guy right here. This is what I'm talking about, guys. I pay the man to work and he's standing around on his freaking phone, Whatever. texting hoes. Whatever. <laughs> he's actually off the clock right now, so. But yeah, the fourth thing that I that just drives me nuts about, you know, being a shop owner is my homeboy Max here. Yeah, he hates you know me. I mean? He's so he lazy, he doesn't do really anything. He does hate me, but it's <laughs> I, okay I, because I hate him too. I hate him because of his hairdo. I hate, you don't have hair. I don't need hair, I got hair down here where it counts. So gay. You're gayer. You're the gayest. You Thank find you. gay. Oh, you're so sweet. Is it because of the haircut? See, he's acting. He's calling me sweet. How <laughs> is like? I quit DFR once again. Bye. Screw you. Do I have to pay you this week? You pay me double because I'm leaving. Oh, I gotta pay him double because he's leaving. We all love Max. Max is pretty awesome. Go check out his YouTube, guys. It'll be right here, and it'll be in the description as well. So I would kind of say it's a fourth and not a fourth kind of thing. Um, well, maybe we'll call it a three and a half, four, whatever, who cares? But uh, Max is a good kid. He's worked for me for a little bit now, and he is uh, he's definitely tearing apart these cars like you would not believe, and, and helping me put them back together and getting them done right. But in general, guys, uh, if you are a business owner or a shop owner or working for yourself or whatever the case may be, and you have an employee or two or three, there's always gonna be that one employee, and I've had him in the past, believe me when I tell you, I've had him in the past, that just doesn't work out. They they don't want to work. They want to, you know, just hang around. They don't really want to participate or or be in a you know be in that mindset or that motivational mindset to want to work. Uh, a lot of you guys out there that, like I said, are business owners. You guys would understand this. So, but yeah, that's the fourth thing, guys. The fifth thing I don't like about being a shop owner, or a business owner, or being in business for myself. Shut up! <laughs> Making too much damn noise is free time, you know, free time is, it just does not exist. And that's gonna go into my very last thing, my, my sixth thing basically, on what I don't like about being a shop owner. But um, you know, you, you don't really have a lot of free time uh, to really do anything, uh, have a personal life, be able to do fun things like, you know, try to go on vacation, you know, ride you know, my beautiful motorcycle. It just everything kills it, you know. You, you're 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 just you're working so much, and that's gonna now lead us into our sixth thing, which is kind of like five, but it's gonna be six. I'm just I like to separate them because free time, in my eyes, is a little bit different than what the sixth thing is, which is working more hours than I ever would have worked at a regular job. So the fifth was a kind of a short thing, but it's gonna tie into number six, and like I said, number six is just working all these hours you're you're here so long sometimes that you just want to kill yourself I'm not gonna lie especially when you have to deal with street speed 717's car love you guy i do i love you um but yeah i've noticed that owning a business owning a shop or having a performance shop you end up you know you think when you when you open up you're like we'll, we'll backtrack a little bit you think that oh i'm gonna be an entrepreneur I'm going to be a business owner. I'm going to work for myself and it's going to be the greatest, most rewarding thing that I've, I could ever do with my life. Yeah, it's true. Sometimes it is very rewarding. But i am be honest with you guys, you're going to work more hours than you've ever worked in your entire life, no matter how much you think you're not going to. Unless you got, you know, handed a silver spoon right out of freaking high school and somebody gave you a, a million dollar loan to start your business. 
then in that case, it might not be that case. But in my case, you know, I started out with this business. I started this business with my two hands. Nobody gave me a loan. Nobody said, here, here's it. You know, here's a hundred thousand dollars, Andy. Here's a bank loan. Here's a revolving line of credit. I have none of that, guys. Whatever comes into this shop goes out of this shop. That's what pays the bills and put. That's what puts food in my kids' mouths. That's what puts puts food in my mouth. That's what you know buys the little doodads that I have. My bike, my snowmobile. You know, you know that's what buys that stuff. You know the customers that come in here and, and pay me the money to work on their cars. There's no there's no bankroll. There really isn't. Um, you know I'm not a rich man. I'm a very I'm a, you know yeah a lot of you guys say I'm humble. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I didn't realize how much that really meant until I started doing YouTube and I started getting the response that I, I was getting from a lot of the customers that come and talk to me and a lot of people just on YouTube that talk to me. Um, so I'm very thankful that, you know, I do this, but that also ties into working all these hours. Not only do not I work here, you know, I, I do this eight hours, nine hours, 10 hours, sometimes 12 hours a day, but I have to record. And then I, I go home and I upload, you know, I make a video that's that takes another you know, a couple hours to upload, a, you know, not to upload, but to, you know, edit a video and then to upload a video. And I got really crappy internet, so it takes a while to upload a video. It kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. But, um, you know, that's really the sixth thing I hate about, you know, owning a, a performance shop is the fact that, you know, you, you work your ass off, guys. You really, really do work your ass off. And you have to. You have to work your ass off to survive. You have to work your ass off to keep your head above water. And you have to work your ass off to make sure the customers are happy with the job that they're getting that you're doing, you know. In, in order for that all to work, you, you got to work your ass off. You really do. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much basically the six things I don't enjoy about having a performance shop or being an entrepreneur or, or being a shop owner or, uh, you know, however you want to call it, working for yourself. That's the six things, guys. But, uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I did. I, I wanted to make it for a while, and it was really hard for me to try to figure out a way to make the video and not sound ash holish about it and i hope i did a good job so if i did do me a favor guys give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe instagram is diablo formula racing facebook diablo formula racing go check me out on snapchat as well at diablo formula like usual guys have a good day and deuces